and welcome back to Couch Funded. I'm George. And I'm Ben. And today we're doing a review episode. This um, is the money that we already gave away and now we got <laughs> something for it. Sometimes <laughs> we wait a long time, sometimes things come on time. Yeah. That's just how it goes with Kickstarter. Have you had a problem with any of that? We haven't um, talked about that yet. I think I've had, I had one, uh, which was actually a really popular one. It was the... Um, Instagram Instacube. It's oh, yeah, called yeah. Instacube. I remember that. And I believe I waited nearly two and a half years okay. for my Instacube to come in. But you got it. I got it. And then it broke. Uh. <laughs> like like it broke like six months later and then I found out that another company had bought the company. And I had to like email them back and forth, but I got it replaced. Oh. Good. So and you can actually still get your an Instacube, but I think they call it now something like I cube or N cube or something like that. I don't know. But, okay. But the, it works. Has it's, there ever been anything that you haven't received at all? Um, and, and like the guy just disappeared? No, not yet. Okay. So I'm happy to report that hasn't happened yet. I'd have to look through mine, but I'm pretty sure there is. But it nothing like expensive. And the guy would had had come on and said, I think it was like an animation. And he just came on and said, everyone I was going to work with left. So I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll try. And then that was the last thing he said. Thanks for your money. I'll try. See you later. <laughs> but, you know, that's it's a risk. It's not you're not buying a product here. You're 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 buying into a dream. Every single thing that <laughs> every single time you do in, uh, something on Kickstarter, the number one thing that it Kickstarter says is we are not a store. Just yeah. remember that. And it's you know, that's the risk of, you know, that's the risk of crowdfunding. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, but let's talk about two that did work out. Let's do it. Um, up first, I don't know if you've seen this one yet. It's called Zach Johnson is the artist, and he did a sketchbook. Okay. Um, so I backed for the sketchbook. Nice. I don't know this artist. I had never seen this artist before. I don't even remember how I found this one. Whoa. Um, it also it came with this little pack of stickers that I don't, I don't know. May I? Sure. Zen environments. And I think one of the things that he was trying to do, one of the... Um, Stretch goals for his book because he was asking for eleven thousand five hundred. He ended up making eighteen thousand four hundred fifty-eight. Oh, congratulations! So he went over above and beyond. And I think one of the things that he was trying to do was this debossed on the leather on the leather cover. Yeah, so it's, it was a nice little addition he was able to do. Nice. Um, so let's check out the book though. So is this book? It looks like this book is now available for purchase if you didn't get a chance to buy it, and it's available for twenty-four ninety-nine. So you might be able to go on Amazon or this um, uh, the artist website and buy it that way. Let's see, is there a website up here? Might be. Well, just search, just search Zach, Zach Johnson. Johnson. Zach Johnson sketchbook. Just look for that. Now check this out. So the art Ooh. is pretty amazing. Now this was like a recreation of one of his sketchbooks, basically. Oh wow! And he did it. He was able to do a lot of it in color because of the amount he raised. Nice. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, I mean, just look at these, like, I don't know, just random... Just and it's really well printed. Yeah, it came out really nice. This is it's the first not like, time I'm flipping through it. So. Yeah, it's not like a cheap print. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's got that new book smell. So, I don't know if this is an artist that people are familiar with, and maybe they know more about Zach Johnson than I do. I just thought the art was kind of neat looking. It um, is. And I wanted to be involved in helping him bring that to life, so... Pretty cool. Pretty cool little book. And it looks like there's over 100 pages here. Yeah, I can't remember. What, here, you want to look at that real quick? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll see if I can find any of that information real quick. He That's has a... Cool. I run Zenvironment Studio in Portland, Oregon. Visual artist for 15 years. Well, oh, this is his first book. He's always wanted to do a book. This is his first time trying it. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. You can go and look up, uh, look up his name again. So... Zach has lent his unique style of Frederick pen lines uh, to a variety of applications. He's worked for MTV, K2, Snowboards, ESPN, Nike, um, Osiris Shoes, Arbor Skate, uh, Sony, BMG, um, as well as other companies in the U.S., Australia, Copenhagen, Japan, and the U.K. This book is the first edition printing, limited to 1,000 copies, um, and published in Portland, Oregon. So. Oh, and so I guess one of the thing, one of the stretch goals was the uh, getting all those color pages in there. Nice. That's how he was able to add all that color to it. Yeah. No, this is great. This is a great book. So, supposedly, I mean, some people might recognize his artwork. They may not know who he is, but 
based on what he's worked on and the companies that he's worked with, it sounds like he might have a pretty nice following. And it was uh, it she, was of marshmallow man. delivered pretty much on time. I think uh, August was when they said it would deliver, and it came in August. So he did, completely did everything on time and delivered it perfectly. Nice. Shipped well, shipped in a nice bubble, came in good condition. And you got some stickers to go with it. And they're stickers. So what did you bring this week, Ben? So I went with a little bit more of a technical thing. Um, I am a Back to the Future fan, of course. And oh, you then are? Anything, yeah, you know, kind of just like the movie a little bit. Eh, eh, eh. Anyway, um, so there was a company on Kickstarter called Hendo. And Hendo decided that they're going to make a hoverboard. They, they said that they're on their 18th prototype. They were featured in Fast Company, New York Times, Recode. The Verge, Gizmodo, all these publications, and they basically said, we're going to make a hoverboard, and I'm like, this is amazing. Who doesn't want a hoverboard? They also said they're going to make technology which would allow other things to hover called the white box. You can totally look them up there under Hendo, but one of the things that you can get if you can't get the full hoverboard, which was really expensive, there was a backing for a mini hoverboard. So I decided that I'm gonna do that, and I got like a Hendo t-shirt and some other Hendo stuff. So this is my first time opening it. Here you go. Um, some, maybe a thank you card or something. Yeah. Here's to you, Hendo supporter. So um, this is a disclaimer. The hover technology of the beta boards are based on old technology called Electrodynamic Suspension, or EDS. Old technology. Uh, we offered it on Kickstarter to allow you to have a mini Hendo board uh, of your own demonstration, the difference between EDS and magnetic field, uh, which is MFA. Instructions. Oh, this requires electricity, I guess. So, please remove plastic film. Jill and Greg. Oh, okay, so, okay, so there's okay. a plastic film on it. I'll take that. that off while you... All right. There's the electrical. Do we have a, a plug? So this is what the board's going to look like. This is a mini version of it. There's the front. There's the back. Um, this, of course, was before Lexus announced that Ooh, they would have that. their own. So I guess you plug that in. Man. Oh, man. Whoa. Wait a minute. That's not hovering. That's sticking. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we should Wait, read. let's look at the instructions. Okay. Connect the AC, the LEDs, and the hover will turn on. Uh, place the hover base on a flat surface with the LEDs like shining upwards. Done. With both hands, hold the beta board with the Hendo logo facing toward you. Okay. As pictured above. Okay. okay. Uh, having your index and middle finger on the four hover engines and your thumb on the beta board... Okay. Top gives you a good grip. Lower the beta board with the logo facing up until you feel some upward magnetic force. Oh, I'm feeling it. Okay. Do not let go. <laughs> that was Ben's first mistake the first time. <laughs> uh, until you feel the upward magnetic force and and all four of the LEDs are on. On? Yeah. And all four of the LEDs are on. The LEDs indicate the balance of the beta board. When an LED goes off, slowly move... The beta board toward the LED. If the opposite LED goes off, you, you went too far. With all four LEDs on, the magnetic force still felt, slowly remove your fingers. If the beta board hovers, congratulations. If not, the beta board from the hover base, remove it from the base and try again. Remember, this is not our technology. <laughs> it's tough. It's like a game, though. We're going to get it. All right. It's like a balancing thing. Yeah, Ben, you're going to try this in a second. Oh, my goodness. Not if you get it, because this looks hard. <gasps> there it is. It's hovering. Do you guys see that? It's hovering. It's a hoverboard. Look at that. Can you do that? Holy shit. Yay! <laughs> so, hovering. anyway, this is this is not how the hover Hendo hoverboard works, as they say, 
but it's to show you, I guess, if a Hendo hoverboard was to hover in front of you, this is what it would look like. <laughs> so, I still love it. This is great. Maybe I'll have somebody do some artwork that looks like an actual hoverboard on top of it. Do it like make it a Back to the Future. Ah, but then you might take the balance off. Is there a balance? Is there an issue with balance or anything? I don't know. There might be. You should write to the company and ask if you can paint this. I should. I should. Um, do, if you the want, do you want to try making it hover? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Especially since when we turn it off, it stops hovering. <laughs> so, um, oh, wait a minute. If you are trying to hover additional weight on top of the board, be aware that the system is only rated for 0.65 pounds. Whoa, 65 pounds. 0.65. That works. Let's keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the Hendo hoverboard. Um, oh, yeah. That might be too heavy. Let's try this Let's little see. guy. Oh, little Godzilla. I gotta wait for it to come around again. All right, here. Oh, oh, yes, Godzilla's hovering on a hoverboard. That's awesome! <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. That makes me so happy. All right, we're going out on that. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. And you can watch us on Facebook, at Couch Funded, on Twitter, Facebook, at George Gasper on Twitter. At uh, 3D Retro on Twitter, at 3D Retro on Instagram. Follow us. But main main thing is subscribe to the channel. See what we've got coming up next week where we uh, go over what we are funding. And then always join us on Fridays to see the stuff that we actually get. So, like this. Godzilla on a hoverboard. <laughs> You're Can't welcome. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. See you next time.